Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here with my friend Espen, friend, colleague, and uh, also for me, for the United States, our partnership with Norway on so many things, especially in moments of challenge, uh, is deeply appreciated, deeply meaningful. Um, as NATO founding members, our countries have an extraordinary history, a long-standing history, of working to address global challenges, not just uh, the, the bilateral relationship, but between Norway and the United States, one that focuses on regional issues, but also on global issues. Um, in April, we agreed to tackle one of the greatest threats to our national and economic security by working to secure our critical mineral and, and clean energy supply chains. And this is something that's animated both of our countries uh, for some time, and I think the work that we've done together reflects the um, intense importance that we attach to this. Today's signing, this memorandum of cooperation, demonstrates a shared commitment to economic security in both a timely and tangible way. Uh, developing secure, transparent, critical mineral supply chains is essential if we're going to achieve our global clean energy goals. Uh, but it's also an essential aspect uh, of our national security. Uh, we've invested much toward this effort already. Uh, we're already co-leaders of the Green Shipping Challenge. A substantial portion of Norway's government pension fund Global, the largest sovereign wealth fund in the world, is invested in U.S. renewable energy infrastructure. And Norway, of course, is also leading the way in decarbonizing even the most carbon-intensive industries setting a remarkable example for so many around the world. Uh, we also work together to accelerate investment in global supply chains alongside our 13 other partners in the Mineral Security Partnership, which, through the leadership of Undersecretary Fernandez, now consists of 32 projects around the world. Global demand for critical minerals, we know, is only going to increase. It's going to expand dramatically uh, as we build and deploy technologies that will drive the 21st century clean energy economy. No country, we know, can meet this demand alone. No country should control the world's supply of these materials. Uh, alongside Espen, I'm very pleased to sign this memorandum of cooperation to further unlock the full potential of what our two countries can accomplish together and as well working uh, with many others. This is a, a partnership that really is foundational to the uh, future, the future of the 21st century economy, the future of clean energy, uh, the future of national security. So with that, that's for the floor is yours. Thank you, Secretary Blinken. Thank you, Tony, my good friend. Um, I'm really thrilled to be here today and that we now can sign this memorandum of cooperation on uh, uh, critical minerals. Let me first say that I want to express my uh, uh, solidarity and give my condolences to the people that are affected by Hurricane Helene, which has been uh, very uh, devastating uh, to many parts of this country and yet another example of why we need to accelerate cooperation on climate change and, and to work on, uh, on uh, decarbonization. Uh, climate uh, change has been a very good experience over the, uh, these years of the Biden administration. I very much appreciate the strong leadership that you have taken and uh, I've also had the opportunity to work very closely with you on those issues. And out of that uh, comes, of course, an interest in what do we need more of when we do less of the old. And as you very correctly said, Tony, in the 21st century, we will need uh, critical minerals raw, uh, as raw materials for almost everything new, uh, both how we produce clean energy, but also how we use clean energy. And on top of that comes a uh, significant uh, a change in geopolitical affairs, which is problematic, but we, we, which we need to be honest about and relate to. And it is particularly important that close friends and allies uh, also understand the geoeconomic, the economic uh, consequences of these uh, geopolitical complications, because we don't want that uh, any country have a total dominance of, of the sources uh, of, uh, uh, for instance, critical minerals. Norway is the number one uh, exporter of cobalt to the US, the number three exporter exporter of nickel. We are the largest uh, producer of graphite in Europe. Our, our um, 
uh, geology is uh, full of these uh, minerals, so it is f for us important to establish these uh, links, which I think brings us together economically, but also secures uh, uh, strategic partnership, not only in, as ever, in the military and political field, but also in the economic field. It will build security, resilience, uh, reliability in the value chain, at the chains, and it will make it more easy to work forward faster. Uh, both to be more sovereign and secure uh, on each, uh, as uh, Western countries together, but also to accelerate the green shift. So many good things come together in what we are now going to sign, and I'm very happy with the cooperation we had with you personally and people here, that, and that we are now at the moment where we can sign this memorandum of cooperation. Thank you. Now down to work. Secretary Blinken and Foreign Minister Ida are signing the Memorandum of Understanding concerning cooperation on high standard, market-oriented trade of critical minerals. This MOU formalizes the intent to advance high labor and environmental standards in global critical mineral supply chains while maintaining and identifying appropriate responses to non-market policies and practices in third countries. Thank you. 